mind is I was thinking about unseen worlds and how there's things going on around us that we don't normally see. Things like, like ant colonies and various things. And so I thought, well, then maybe here's another world within a world. Pick up a snow globe, give it a shake, watch the flakes sift about, drift into a dream. You're a child once more. Smooth, shiny, begging to be touched. You feel compelled to heft it. The weight feels good in your hand. It's solid like a baseball, yet it's delicate like china. You cradle it softly, yet firmly, within your fingertips so it doesn't slip. And witness, there's Santa, Rudolph, in a sleigh, atop a gingerbread house. Santa shakes the reins and they're off, across the rooftop into the snow, flying in front of a fake backdrop. Hitting the globe's side, they fall in a heap on the bottom of the glass. Santa sits up, shakes his fist, and swears. <laughs> and then I was thinking about how I see people walk around all the time talking to themselves, and then I find out that they're on their Bluetooth. So I thought, well, this is kind of interesting. Um, that's really acceptable now to talk to yourself as you walk around. So I wrote 100 years. 1909, I walk around and I talk to myself, to all my friends. They live inside my head. I can hear them and no one else can. And they talk back to me. It makes me smile. And people look at me funny, whisper behind their hands and turn away. Huh. 2009, I walk around and I talk to myself, to all my friends. They live inside my head. I can hear them and no one else can. And they talk to me and it makes me smile. And people look at me annoyed, tell me to just shut up and quit talking on my Bluetooth. <laughs> and then I was part of a writing group and we had a challenge about what a poem means and so I wrote a poem. A poem should stand on its own. No other imagery is required. What the reader brings to the poem, life experiences and whatnot, it's what makes the poem. Why a particular poem touches the heart is known only to the soul. A peculiar feeling, smell, taste, touch, wide angle view from a camera, a snapshot of life, messages no one else hears. What did the poet hope to convey? The underlying message is one thing, constant reader decides the rest. The twists and turns as the poem comes to life, constantly changing in color and hue. And then I also wrote three short fiction, and a hundred words is not very much. <laughs> uh, so this was a little bit of a challenge. Um, I watch a lot of Law and Order, so that's where this first one comes from. <laughs> Irony. I slipped on the grass a bit. Let's see. I slipped a bit on the grass as I walked across it to the steps, which led to the shore. I like to bury all my girlfriends in this isolated, peaceful spot. Abby died tonight. When I place the plastic bag over her head, but I still have Beth tied up at home. The drizzle is making the stairway slippery. I drop Beth, and as I reach for her, my foot slips out from under me. As I lay down on the beach, my neck seems to be all wrong. I feel like a nap. Beth will wait. <laughs> So, <laughs> I wanted to do something a little more fun, so I channeled my inner Lucy and decided what would Lucy do, so that's where this came from. It's called Love Hurts. I dropped the vase of roses that you sent me and the vase broke. A shard bounced off the floor and lodged in my leg. I reached up onto the counter behind me blindly to grab a towel to stop the flow of blood. Instead, I grabbed a paring knife and nicked my finger. Standing up too fast, my foot slipped in the water on the floor and I sat down hard. Pushing myself up off the floor, I reached out for a rose and stuck myself with a thorn. I would rather have a card next time. <laughs> and then, um, Ernest Hemingway is well known for his short fiction, and one of his very uh, well-known things is um, he did a six-word a six uh, short fiction story, which was for sale. For sale baby shoes never worn. So I thought, well, I wanted to channel my inner Hemingway, so I came up with this. For sale, engagement ring. 
Cubic zirconia is chipped. <laughs> Thank you.